You know, all that rain that we've been seeing is amounting to little change in the Arkansas River. Water levels through Tulsa remain very low. Two News reporter Dan Perlman is live with the reason the Army Corps of Engineers is keeping the Keystone Dam closed. Dan? Yeah, guys, out on the river, there is a lot of sand, but not a lot of water. Even with all this rain that we've been seeing, the Corps tells me that they are going to keep the Keystone Dam upstream closed. That is all in preparation for what could be a long, dry summer. Megan Alton sees the Arkansas River every day. I live right off Riverside, so I look out my door and it's right there. Almost every day, she says she sees the same thing. Ugliness. Today, the river is so dry, some people are just walking across. Dry despite the rain that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is watching closely. It's great. These kind of slow soaking rains are exactly what we need. Colonel Mike Teague says the ground is soaking up this rainfall. He believes in time, though, we should see runoff into Keystone Lake. Today, water levels there are looking good. What we want is that conservation pool full. Teague says it is full. The water there is what the dam releases into the river. The Corps lets it go when necessary, but now they're holding on to it in case we see another dry spell. That lets us stretch that water out just as far as we can uh, to make sure that we're meeting everybody's needs. Megan's friend Natasha hopes we see more rain. That could lead to a full river. It would make Tulsa prettier. It would also give her more of a reason to visit the area. It's more to look at. It's not just a dry creek bed. It's actually, you know, water and something to go to. Teague told me that we do need to see a couple more days of rainfall like this for the ground to become so wet that we'll start seeing some runoff into the lake. Live in Midtown Tulsa, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.